I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And while the president's debate happened, and I really want to thank Chris Christie and uh, <laughs> Rudy Giuliani for debate prepping the president so as Americans we could really put our best foot forward to the world. They prepped Trump so well that he actually came in third in the debate behind Chris Wallace, who moderated the debate as well as Custer moderated the Indians. But Wallace really did well debating Trump about the debate. Uh, the answer to the question is no. Ukraine. No, I, sir. With a billion sir, dollars, if you that is if absolutely you know what, you're, wait, not you're true. Gonna take you're doing it. You're going to have take. true. Gentlemen. While Joe Biden, who had to listen to Trump, slowly shoved his car keys through his hand. <sighs> This was a weirder -er week than we've had in a while. On Sunday, we found out Trump's taxes, and it seems that he paid $750 in taxes. Not $750,000, but $750. The billionaire paid less money in taxes that, that it, than a teacher paid for school supplies she won't be reimbursed for. He wrote off $70,000 for hairstyling, make up your own joke, $760,000 for an outside consultant, his daughter, a person who he said he's desired to be inside of. But the fake news gets all wrapped up in his fake hair that he wraps around his fake freeway cone orange head. But after paying zero taxes for 10 out of the 15 years, we find out the president got $72 million from foreign countries while he was president? Some of it from Turkey. Now, I'm sure him pulling our troops out of Turkey and letting the Kurds who were fighting Turkey get slaughtered was just a coincidence. He also has outstanding debts totaling $421 million, but we don't know who those are to. We can speculate after eldest son and pupil dilation aficionado Don Jr. told the news a few years ago that our money comes from Russia. And remember that meeting with Putin, with the Russians before the election? And this one? I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I don't see any reason why it would be. I will say... That Russian taking over our base in Syria might have been a payment on some of that $421 million. <laughs> Or maybe an American military base is just interest on half a billion dollars. But back to the debate. Because I usually have 400 words for these Armageddon updates, but sweet potato Hitler's insanity makes me do extra credit every goddamn week. Trump is an embarrassment. Seriously. There was no debate. There was one guy, a tiny, round, petulant four-year-old, screaming. On top of that, Chris, I've lost all control and I'm sucking my thumb now. Wallace asked Trump a question that is the softest of softballs. He asked him to denounce white nationalists. That's it. Just say Nazis bad. When asked who he should name, Biden drops this. Would you like me to condemn white proud boys? Ooh. And then Trump told the proud mama's boys. Proud, proud boys, boys, stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. This Nazi light bunch of clown sticks to stand back and stand by. When asked to denounce Nazis, he gave a shout out to Nazis on national debate stage. The president. So in one sentence, the orange menace made every single person that supports him <laughs> a racist. Be clear. If your candidate see, sends a shout out to white nationalists during a national debate and you still support him, <laughs> you are a racist. Just fucking own it. Racist. The Proud Mamas boys took the slogan and made a new logo instantly. You know, because even Nazis need to re-energize the brand. But here's what I got after watching this human sucking sound last night. We all know this guy. We have all sat in a bar with a Trump. I love the First Amendment. Nobody know, loves it better than me. Nobody loves the Bible more than I do. There is nobody that respects women more than I do. Nobody builds walls better than me. Nobody Sitting there, talking about a pussy he grabs, but he's alone. He brags about his bank account and his deals while he orders the cheapest will liquor. He talks up the car that he has. It isn't old, it's a classic. He brags about his house that nobody has ever seen. Then some decent human being finally says, shut the fuck up. And then this hump of a human starts a fight and gets his ass beat outside hard. And as the ambulance shows up to get him, the crowd gathered around as they watch the tow truck repo his classic Kia Sorento. That he's six payments behind on. Except our president has $421 million in payments. And Putin or Bin Salman or the Chinese, they want their money. I wonder if they'd call it even if we just sent him a nuke or two. <laughs> I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. <sighs> we are so fucked. Everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. Uh, if you're going to see some weird pain expression on my face, I want you to know that I broke uh, two ribs uh, five days ago, and uh, it hurts like a mother. He fell. 
He was screaming about Trump. <laughs> and broke and like, he fell oh, down the stairs. So sometimes, oh. ow. ow. <laughs> sometimes, um, <laughs> yeah, that worked. Uh, today I sneezed, which was yeah, awesome. You did. Uh, let me get I could go. hear it across the house. Let me introduce everybody uh, to my right, as always, the lovely bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And to the left, the Highlander. There could be only one. Um, uh, so there's two of my ribs are slammed. So today, and I knew it was coming, and I thought, because I've been feeling better. I've been li- I've been living in a constant state of Tai Chi. I really have. I've been yeah. just walking through the world like. You really got to zone in. And like even there, know your body when you well, have like this. Like right now, I have to like I just flexed. In this side, and now, now I have to mm-hmm. focus on unflexing it. It's a really good exercise. You made that sound very cool, both of you. Yeah, when you broke two ribs, you're very Tai Chi in the way you move. And then you had a sound whoo, sound effect. <sighs> it's not what it no, really looks I'm, like out here, let me I, just say. I, oh, okay. It's like the broken ow, million ow, dollar man. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> that just hurt. Yeah. You're right. It's not cool. Springs no. are flying out. It's not cool. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not cool at all. Uh, you sneezing today. I heard the scream across the house. Both dogs ran upstairs and I, instantly. You know what's weird? <laughs> don't, laugh, don't make me laugh. It was. <laughs> It was, you know, I get how funny this Today's going to go great. You would not believe <laughs> the, the the anticipation of what was coming as the sneeze was building. <laughs> like it was, it was, a, it was a, it was a, it was basically a bit from like Three, three Stooges or something. And I knew it was going to hurt. From what? Three Stooges. A there bit you from go. The three Stooges. And, and I knew it was going to come and I knew it was going to come. And when it came, oh, I, I, I yelped. I yelped like a tiny baby. You did. We should get Dennis out of the way. Just do Dennis with broken ribs. And that's it. Uh, so, uh, my ribs, uh, so here's what happens. Your bones are made out of, of a material that will snap. Ribs, by the way, are connected with cartilage. And cartilage has many, many nerve endings in it. So, uh, and stop laughing because I don't need to laugh. Laughter causes pain. And your pain receptors are giving both of you the finger right now. <laughs> Assholes. Dennis with broken ribs. Poor Dennis. <laughs> oh, Dennis. You guys are ridiculous. Uh, that was got, a good call, though. It was great. Got it out of the way. So um, so with the debates were uh, last night. Uh, it's now Wednesday. We'll try to get this out as soon as possible. We're but trying to get it out. There have been a lot of requests on yeah. social media for you to do this today so that people could have some outlet for how they were feeling. Ow. It's so. lit. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw, um, you know, it's great. Here's, here's, let me, let me, let me put it in perspective. So I'm listening on the way home for to the last 10 minutes of it. And then Ray and I watch it together. She cheated and watch it without me. 100%. Yeah. Um, I get home and as I'm getting out of the car, I hear, uh, Dana Bash say, the guy goes, you know, that was the worst. One guy really calmly news guy goes, that's very, it's one of the worst debates we've ever seen. I cannot believe that we just saw it. And she stops him and goes, Hey, just say. It was a shit show. Yeah. And I was like, That's the word. Yep. Awesome. Mm-hmm. You just on CNN said shit show and called it what it was. Nice. Not only was it a shit show, it was a shit show that made other shit shows like look like shit shows. It was yeah. so. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Can you have Dennis say that sentence? Not only was let me, it. Let me tell you about this debate. This debate made shit shows. <laughs> 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 Dennis is just, just, just locked up. Just so you know, just so you know. Oh shit, the pain. I un- yes, yes. My <laughs> yeah. my ribs are still broken, <laughs> and you guys want me to do the shit show repeatedly. It's not good. Um, so this shit show is the it was the epitome of shit shows. This shit show made other shit shows look like shit shows. <laughs> That's how big this shit show was. Thank you. In the history <laughs> of shit shows. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, you, and the only back. two people in the world that think Dennis is funny. That is not true. Everybody that loves Dennis, hit him up on Twitter because people, I get requests all the time in private mm-hmm. emails for combos for Dennis. I oh, just yeah. don't always the, the tell you. The comments under the YouTube video. Oh, they no, love you leave it on there. You, you know file them and yes. wait. No, you just <laughs> son of a bitch. People love Dennis. I saw craziness last night. I, I, saw, you know, I saw what Biden was trying to do. Biden came out and tried to be... They were all telling him, "Look, he's gonna he's gonna go to the street. He's gonna go he's gonna to the go, mud. Yeah. Go to the, don't go to the mud with him." Yeah. I guy really got that. And but I will say this: at one point, because Reagan Reagan was old too, but Reagan had a couple of hard hammers to drop when he did it, and it made a big difference. Biden didn't really have hammers to drop. 
No, no zingers. He, no. No, like, he needed a couple. And we, he and needed. We, I was screaming at the television when they kept when Donald Trump first of all said that all of his rallies have been outdoors. No, they haven't. And we've had no And problems. he goes, and so far we've had no problems. I would have turned around and said, "Let's ask Herman Cain." Oh wait. Yeah, I said that same thing. I in was my screaming mind. this yep. at the television. I said, "I wonder if Herman Cain's home. family thinks there was no problems." Like, no, no negative. No negative it's outcomes. Such a, oh, it's such a bomb drop because it's we're not even talking about someone that people didn't like we're not talking about a democrat we're mm-hmm. talking about someone that was friendly with trump that was a republican that he had work with him on things it's like Did and it, a guy that tweeted right before the rally yeah. that we're not going to wear no stupid masks i will well, say i will say that i don't think i think biden knew that i think they all knew that i think biden is like we're not we're not going there man we're not going to go there, man. Herman Cain died. We're not going to go there, man. I think he could because have. He would have got, just so you know, in this cancel culture, he probably would have got shit, shit hammered for that. Oh, you brought up Herman Cain who died? Good okay, job. Okay, I would say, out of, okay, out of respect to his family, I won't mention his name, but it seems to me that you've lost a lot of people, including a good friend. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I would right. have said. Uh, uh-huh. He was your African-American. He no, was right, the right. one. Remember that? Right. There were several times where he could have mic dropped. And I, as I've said this, Kamala, she is very good at the mic drop. Pence is screwed. But what Pence, I think, mm-hmm. is going to do is try and do the very nice Christian man. He's going to yeah, play course. very nice. Very straight. And uh-huh. so if she's too harsh with him, it's really going to amplify. It's going to look, like, look like the black woman got all ghetto on him. That's what, that's what people are going to say. But I'll say this about Pence. I beg your pardon. That's what they're going to say. That's what they're going to say. They're going to not say it like that. They're going to say it in some weird dog whistle way. That's another thing, too. Can we talk about that first? Because it's the, it was the craziest moment in any debate in my lifetime. They asked the man, and I talked about it in the Armageddon update. They asked him, hey, will you denounce white supremacy? Oh, yeah. So let me, wait, let me go. Ray, will you denounce white supremacy? Yes. Sco- I denounce all white supremacy in any forms. Okay. Highlander? Oh, I'm sorry, what? Will you denounce white supremacy? Ooh, um, see, uh, right who do you want me to call them? See, you're, you're already out. At <laughs> uh, at uh, at uh, you're out. At, uh, you're like, this guy can't be president. Why? He, what do you just said? I said this. You do look like a proud boy though, with the hat. And the oh beard. yeah, with the beard. I said this to you today. We have to go that undercover. That was of us. when the whole problem <laughs> began. How's it being? First of all, when you learn about questioning people like when i was um in criminal justice you learn that when people ask a question back to a question they're stalling Uh they're preparing a lie they're trying to think of an answer that rides the fence whatever it is you're about to get some bullshit and so he asked several questions you know wait who you want wait and which, who do you want me to call who do you want me to which ones why do you need to know which ones why there is this was not the problem front of mind? right there but here's the thing chris wallace said denounce white supremacists it's white supremacist groups i don't need to know who i denounce all of them you can right. list yeah. 700 of them right. and i blanket <laughs> yeah. hate yeah, all we, of them we, we're not gonna pie off and figure out the good ones you know just because <laughs> what did you guys what do they plan a convention at mar lago why he exactly are you gonna call an them out? answer that would ride the fence a dog whistle it's what you said but he didn't though here's what happened biden called him on it biden biden goes he goes White supremacists, Proud Boys. How about the Proud Boys? Because the Proud Boys are becoming like they're, right. they're rising. And, and what, what we're hearing about intelligence is they're rising. The Proud Mamas Boys, I call them. Because they are. They're Proud Mamas Boys. Really, dude, that's what you're mad about? That your jobs are getting taken away? By, well, then what How what far did you go in school? Um, what is your ability? Um, so the Proud Mamas Boys, uh, he goes, he goes, Proud Boys, Proud Boys, Proud Boys. And tr- you, he, you see Trump, watch it. You see him get mad. He hears Biden say it. And he goes, proud boys, okay. Uh, what do you say? Stand up. St- stand, stand back. Stand back. Stand back. And stand by. And stand by, and stand by everybody. And then, he, and then he switches the to subject. Antifa. And what about blah, blah, blah? And he switches. And what about the, the left? And Biden just goes, oh, you're so. You know what look Biden looked like? That's where I came with that thing for that bar situation. We've all been in the bar with that dude who's a friend of your cousin or whatever, who you don't know, mm-hmm. who just won't shut up. Yeah. Dude. Dude, dude, we're t- having a conversation, and you keep jumping in with shit that doesn't mean anything. Totally insecure. Stop. You're mm-hmm. totally insecure, lying mm-hmm. every sentence. Yeah, I did that. I did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did it better than that. No, I did about it. But that's the thing that made me crazy was, you know, they weren't really given a lot of opportunity to respond to each other. You know, Trump certainly took his opportunity, even though and he Wallace wasn't supposed to. Wallace let him. But... 
Um, and you had two minutes of summation at the end. That's a great moment to say you just asked him to denounce white supremacists and he needed the name of a group and he said stand back and stand by. Like there were some highlights I would have really pointed out, but you were right, Biden was trying to play the nice guy. And I guess it is hard with someone like that screaming at you the whole time, you could see him getting addled a little bit. It, it, I thought he was getting it, angry and frustrated, but yeah, you. He was it trying to focus, and it he very easily lost focus the more Trump kept screaming at him, which I bet you a thousand dollars was part of their tactic, because Biden is of course overcoming a stutter to speak, and he is a little addled, and so no, he's not. I, it's bullshit. I, I think he is a little bit. No, you not can't addled write- like. Um, not adult as in he's dumb. No, he's not. Not at all. Or no, he's confused. not. Not at all. Not a bit. Not a bit. But not I mean, he's not adult at all. He's not adult at all. You're adult. Bit I'm sorry, you're right. this is where no, let me tell you this. Here's the deal. He let doesn't me understand. Wait. No, he doesn't. No, you're adult. It doesn't matter. No, you're adult. You don't even know what you're doing. You don't even do it. Okay. I know you're trying to make the point, but I can stay focused on what I'm saying. Let's, gentlemen. Let's. I get what you're trying to do, but it didn't stop me. It stopped him. It took his brain somewhere else, and I don't know what that is. Maybe adult is the wrong word. It maybe it. Perhaps has absolutely zero to do with age. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm trying to go. Uh, don't drink coffee too fast when the ribs are broken. It really hurts. Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying that it necessarily has to do with age because he and Trump are very close to the same age. I just mean he do- he can be let led off track pretty easily, I noticed. He wasn't let off track. I he wanted him to just keep hammering on the point <laughs> that he was on, and he would kind of get lost. And then at one point, he goes, and three, and Trump goes, you were on two. I mean, it was... No, I didn't I, I'm tired of this, by the way. I, you know, a couple of comics who I really respect said the same shit about Biden last night. You've got a man who overcomes a stutter, and I'll bet you, and everybody who has a stutter when they get riled up, mm-hmm. you're standing next to that asshole. Yep. And he's screaming at you, and he's doing what he's doing. He's making shit up, and he's not letting you finish a sentence. Mm-hmm. What's that like? And you have a stutter on top of that. I think that it would do it. I, I haven't seen. I have not seen Biden be uh, Biden be addled. It, it, that's as that's as much addled as he's been. Right there is what I just did. And he gets to the point when he when they let him speak. He says what he's saying, prompter or not. When you've got this literally human dingleberry screaming. Dingleberries, they just smell That's, like shit and they hang around too long. Mm-hmm. Um, and Cancerous. How do you know what a dingleberry is? I'm a man and I've eaten Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> and Why? Pot- no, and, don't encourage and, that. And potatoes. <laughs> he is. He's a human dingleberry. And, and, and you, you're when you're around this guy... It's, it's so funny to watch because even the fact checkers after the debate were like, I, I, he said, one, the guy on CNN goes, he said absolutely nothing true. Nothing that he said was true. Zero. They said there was three times Biden said things that were a little bit shady off, like what they should be. Like, like they, were, they, were on, they were on point for the truth, but they weren't exact, like the numbers were off. Yeah, like, the numbers, yeah. you know, it mm-hmm. was like 19% to mm-hmm. 17, 17%. They said Trump said absolutely zero. Zero. He with any said truth to it. he made a huge point about being endorsed by law enforcement groups, and he said, "Hey, even Portland sheriff just Port- came out and endorsed Portland. me." Portland sheriff, meanwhile, is frantically tweeting that I have wow. never endorsed him. I do oh not God. support him. Please it. don't get me in trouble with my wife. She would kill Holy me for shit. this. And I mean, they're so they're activists against Trump and what he stands for. But he just says things, and nobody calls him on it i do get not only that but i not, do get after being in court with your ex that so many things do you remember me in court sometimes yes. and i'm really good i remember 90 minutes of stuff but it sounds at one point like no ah no she didn't no she did no i didn't it, it, and it does so you do have to get good at ignoring which you did ignoring her and just speaking to the judge which yeah. i think he was trying to do and he did a really great job i liked how he spoke to the camera to the american yeah, people right. a lot that was memorable yeah but he that. would try and finish sentences and as soon as trump would start he would lose his train of thought that's what i meant because but anybody wouldn't anybody you got this moron who you you're in the middle of a sentence trying to make a point you're in the middle of a debate you're actually running for the most powerful job in the world and you're like listen when it comes to the coronavirus what we need to do is we did a great job fuck dude i'm in the right. middle of a sentence right. Like really? Yeah, it was brutal. I'm it not was, saying it was, it was. It wasn't brutal. It was but class, I, classless yes. against every debate rule in the world. Yes. It, it, it was. It was scummy. Not presidential. It was. Whatsoever. It was. It was street. 
mm-hmm. in a bad way. Not it was, American. You know, the, I'll mm-hmm. say this about Trump. If Trump didn't have any money, if his daddy hadn't given him four hundred million dollars when he died, mm-hmm. he wouldn't even be he wouldn't even be like he would be a contractor you wouldn't hire. Mm-hmm. He'd be mm-hmm. a guy that would show up to your house mm-hmm. fat and orange and be like, dude, mm-hmm. what is what's wrong with that? I, I remember debates where there was some interruptions here and there or the couple zingers mm-hmm. or yeah. you know, remember the good old days when Nixon was sweaty? And that was I mean, a huge and that deal. was a big deal. Yeah. But or, this is just it was constant. It was constant. I guess, Every I we guess should count, have a counter. I wish, I really wish that I could debate him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> or I, I, oh God. Kamala. I would I wish we could just cross over and put her in there because she has that kind of you know, a uh, Rolodex brain mm-hmm. like I do, where she's like, file that away until it's my turn to speak. File that mm-hmm. away. Okay, mm-hmm. let's yeah, go. Yeah, criminal. Yeah, she, she I, dealt no, with criminal I, law. Oh, I thought you were going to say I was criminal. <laughs> You're, you are criminal. Thank you. Uh, larcenous is what I have in my blood. That's awesome. Larceny. That's awesome. Um, but that's what I, I mean. Like, who I want Kamala to debate is not Pence. That's easy. Let's put her up against Trump. I want everyone to be actually not get too excited about this yet because we don't know what Pence is going to do. Because if we're all thinking it and everybody thinks this is going to be a cakewalk, every time my life when someone said it's a cakewalk something always came through got the wrench got thrown in so i think we should all wait and see what pence does because they're going to ready pence for it trust me they've got somebody deb- working with pence right now yelling at him Good do you luck. think there's going to be a second debate you're talking about a dude that calls his wife mother versus does he really Kamala Harris. no yeah. shit yes. Yes. what he, can't, he won't have he will not have a meal with another woman like he won't go to lunch with a like like nancy pelosi or whatever unless his wife so is there weird. oh my god okay look that whatever that's a personal choice sure but i'm just saying as far as his demeanor you couldn't train him in these few weeks to in any way intellectually meet where kamala harris has been and has had to learn to be throughout her entire life no i mean it's not going to happen he they could throw anything at her although i will say this i saw her on um uh, what was she she was interviewed on rachel no uh, uh what's his name lawrence lawrence o'donnell and she kept saying the same thing over and over again, and she wasn't really insightful and wasn't really popping in. I, I, I it's, by the way, compared to Pence, she's 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 the smartest woman on the planet. But that's an interview when you see her interrogating someone. That's true. When she's been in the Senate. Oh, oh my god! My god! That's what I mean. Yeah. When she has right. to be laser focused, she really is. I mean, that's her reputation as a prosecutor. So, so here's what Trump has, and I just got it. I just got it this second. Here's what Trump has that no one else has. He doesn't give a fuck what he looks like. Doesn't care. Sure. Do you understand? No, he yeah. doesn't get, but everyone else does. I just got why she was doing that. She was on Lawrence O'Donnell, wants to be liked. So they're, hi, blah, blah. Well, you know, he's just going out of his way to blah, blah, blah. I think, I think these politicians need to understand, with all the television we've watched, with all the edgy Breaking Bad, uh, all, you know, uh, Game of Thrones, all the edge that we're used to in America now, and after four years of this moron, just be straight. Just mm-hmm. go, hey, this guy's an idiot. Guys, you tell me what he's done well. Tell me what he's done well. You give me a list of things he's done well. One. Anybody? Anybody got anything? No, didn't think so. And yet he keeps saying that he built the best economy ever. No, we built the best economy and he destroyed it. That's what happened. We got 13 million people out of jobs. Biden and Obama built the best economy we had in a long time. It was going up constantly. He wrote it for the first two years. It was funny because Chris Wallace did... Fact check him on that. Trump said, I've created more jobs he didn't. He was than a- any president ever before. And he said, well, actually, in the last two years of the Obama-Biden administration, that was the highest number. And, and you still haven't reached that number, homie. I, so I thought that was funny. I thought Chris Wallace called him on a couple things. Mm-hmm. But he also let every, he had to call him on a couple things. But boy, did he let everything go. I've never seen a guy lose control of a debate that much. I would argue he, he tried. I mean, maybe short of standing up and physically being threatening to Trump. You know, I can tell you this. If he treats a man that way, you, we we know he, he putting a woman there. I don't know. I mean. Well, we, I mean, which is funny. Speaking of that, Megyn Kelly tweeted about it. Oh, Biden doesn't seem to have it together. I was like, and I, I just, I go, yeah. I go, this man in, in a national forum talked about your period how are you treating any uh, tweeting anything other than fuck trump like what are you crazy like how what like what does he have i don't fucking get it it's obvious this guy's a hump it's obvious guy this has this guy he's 420 million 21 million dollars in debt and we don't know who he owes that money to 
We do know that he's really buddies with Putin. Mm -hmm. We do know that Don Jr. Um, said that, no, we get all our money from Russia. That's a quote from his son. Uh, we do know uh, that he uh, let Bun Bin Salman, didn't, there was no retribution for killing uh, Jamal Khashoggi. Mm -hmm. uh, we do know that he's buddies with the Saudis. So you've got two countries. Erdogan. Or Erdogan, Erdogan, who's got where he's got two hotels. He's received millions from Erdogan. We, uh, by the way, people, this taxes thing. Let's get to that now because the debate was a shit show. We we agree it's a shit show. Moving on to the taxes. He paid more in taxes abroad than he paid in the United States. Yeah, yes, he did. But that doesn't bother me. That's that that's just con that's just countries with less loopholes. And and he's mm -hmm. a, and he's a foreign businessman. See, so people after keep him. saying that, and he said that too, and they let him slide. He kept saying, you know, everyone's saying, "Well, he just used the loopholes." I can promise you, oh, if no. he took in four hundred million dollars and he paid either zero, got seventy-two million dollars in a refund, mm -hmm. or paid seven hundred and fifty dollars any of those three years, he cheated. There's some there's some book he cooking going on. He paid his kids, mm -hmm. yes. Ivanka. A consultant fee yeah. through an outside company so that gross. she owns, even though she is on the board uh -huh. of the Trump org uh -huh. that paid the check to her consulting company. That he could then write off. Th that no, no, she right. wrote off. No, that he, he oh, wrote off. He can't write it off. What he would have had to have done, he would he would have had to pay taxes on that, as she would have had to pay taxes uh. on receiving it. So he would have had to pay taxes before he paid her the seven sixty mil, uh, thousand, and then she would have had to pay taxes on the income. And they're they're, they're what will happen when he loses, then he will lose. He's losing. Uh, what will happen is they will go deep into his taxes, and they will either arrest him or he will pay a massive amount of money. Interesting that we now know that there really is an audit going on. Although the IRS came out and said that that does not in any way prevent him from releasing his taxes, that that's not a law or a rule or a statute or anything. He can release his taxes. But I did think it was interesting that it's, it, okay, there really is an audit, but it's because, imagine this, imagine the IRS writing you a check for seven, no, $72 million, 72.9. He received a check back from the IRS. That was a refund. And that's what it took for them to go, wait a minute. And we've talked about this before too, is casinos lost $921 million. No, mm -hmm. Yes, that's almost a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Lost that much money in four or five years. And they interviewed a, they interviewed a, a casino owner that was in Atlantic City at the time. And that guy goes, he goes, hey, he goes, my casino? And he goes, I didn't have his name. I made $150 million cash free each of those years. But he lost $921 million over four years? Interesting. Well, this too, he's had Mar-a-Lago eight years or something like that. Uh -huh. He's claimed more losses at Mar-a-Lago than what he paid for it now. Yeah. Yep. He and, paid like and 150 so million and yeah. now 168 million in losses. Okay. People in Florida should be furious. Turnberry, 152 million purchased it for, lost 165 million in five years. And what? that money, what? like, what? What is tax? What do tax dollars go for? Mm -hmm. They go to the military, infrastructure, infrastructure, schools, our education. It's like, and pe but Roads, people are like, lights, cops. You, by the way, you want to talk who defunded the police? Thank you. Trump defunded the police. Yeah, in 20, 2010, mm -hmm. he took seventy two point nine million dollars from the police. Hey, officers, what could you have done with that? What kind of training <laughs> could you have done with that seventy two million dollars? But and, these and same people that are like, yeah, law and order are f oh well, he is just a loophole when he got that right. He just right. used the loop. He's Played smart. Game the system is smart. Okay, so we've talked about that. <laughs> we've talked about the taxes, but let's talk about all the debt. Because the debt puts him in a weird position. You got to yes. remember when he would not divest his interests. What that did was, by the way, if you owned, if you owed a bunch of dictators, uh, you know, Bin Salman and Putin, a bunch of money uh, through Deutsche Bank, would you want someone else running your money? If you owed Putin, because someone's going to have to run that. There's going to be a trust, right? So they would know. They would know that. Be, I would like to get a, a check of some sort. Maybe, maybe you could pay me. I don't. I just run. I, the, I, I, I will kill you first, and I will find him. So what's happened is, is that we now have a guy who made seventy-two million dollars from foreign money. In foreign money. He sh this is what people need to track because they kept talking about his hair. I'm like, that's the fucking least of it, you know. I because I do c comedy, I claim haircuts. 
you know, I don't owe, I don't claim 70 grand. Well, How if much you was average it, it yeah. out, it's about $1,368.15 per week on his hair, which is really just a tra- wow. travesty. Really. Yeah, that you say per hair, because there's only, there's only one. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's one. And it's wound and it, right. like a stick. They take <laughs> exactly. him, they stick him into the cotton candy <laughs> machine. Yep. Just spin him by his feet. <laughs> and finish. They hook his feet to a chain and just... <laughs> <laughs> That's what costs so much, Dip the cotton him. candy machine. And the crane. The, and the operator right. of the crane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So here are the things. That, <laughs> this is the point. And the music that has to play because he likes the music. <laughs> 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 uh, we need to see the Deutsche Bank loan paperwork, the documents. So the, some, of the, some of the biggest problems here are who co-signed on his loans. This yep. is a guy that has claimed bankruptcy six times. Six times. Um, this is a guy who everyone has known is all just, he, it's just on paper. He's, yeah. he's lost, broke. He's lost. He's, he's, lost, he's blown nine different businesses. He is a, we do know that he's a personal guarantor on these $421 million, and it's coming due within the next four years. That means that they can seize any of his personal assets. He can't hide anything. One of the loans is coming due next year, actually. So... Who co-signed on these loans through Deutsche Bank? That's number one. Um, there's a whole other Deutsche Bank connection with Justice Kennedy's son, but okay. Um, and then, please explain that. A lot of people don't know this. Okay, so people don't know when why Justice Trump Kennedy left. Took office, oddly enough, although a lot of justices stay in the Supreme Court and die there. Uh, Justice shout Kennedy, out shout out. <laughs> seriously, she tried. Um, he just resigned from the Supreme Court. Just out of the blue. Wasn't that coincidental? Except that his son worked where? His son was one of the investment bankers and handled loans at Deutsche Bank. Yes. Oh. His son was also responsible. Hmm. So Trump's... Uh, and, the, and, they, and it had been on working with Trump for many years. Trump's accounts at one point several years ago prior to the election, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an algorithm. And it was flagged in the Deutsche Bank system. This is what we know so far. I can't get the loan paperwork for possible money laundering. And it wasn't just Trump's account. Deutsche Bank ended up paying a big fine because they were literally taking Russian oligarch money Correct. and they got in trouble for it. Go ahead. Correct. <laughs> right. And so oddly enough, the same guy that was responsible for helping uh no harm come to Trump through that and that flag to be removed and him to continue to get loans even though he's bankrupt Mm -hmm. uh, and a horrible business person. He left Deutsche Bank and his father resigned from the Supreme Court opening up a space on the Supreme Court for Trump to fill because he didn't know then that Ruth Bader Ginsburg was going to die and he was going to have all these opportunities that happened within the first year of his presidency. So what I don't understand is what's so what does because we obviously we're dealing with a crime family of some sort. What does what would he have on a Supreme Court justice? Oh, I'm gonna. Your son is going down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your son's going down, bro. His gonna, son I'm, was obviously. I am going to tell them what your son did, which is the dumbest thing. Because well, yeah, but then you have to tell them what you did. So why would you do that? No, he would protect. No, really? I, I don't think anyone has any illusions. It's, it's lying down with dogs, right? It's what True. you did before me. It's, He's you, talking about my ex-wife. You get, you get dirty. You not, get fleas. Not these guys. Mm-hmm. Trump, not these dogs. Trump, I don't think anyone has any illusions. It's why all these people that we expect to stand up and say something just won't. It right. is such a thunderstorm of mania and throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks and attacks nonstop assault. Nobody wants any part of that. I would never expect if I tangled with him in any business way that I would win. No. Not because I'm not trying to do my best and he knows what he's doing. It's because, not because you're in the right. He's mm-hmm. willing to do anything to win at all costs. And I can't and I actually have things I'm not willing to lose. So I would always lose. That's what we're forgetting we're forgetting that this man has never he's never had a successful business ever Mm -mm. there's not been one business and looking at his taxes he's proved that the man can't keep a golf course from not losing money what I think happened is and I think this guy's been doing it and we need what we need to do is when he's out we need to put a team of investigators to go after the dude uh, because he has taken 900 he he, he, basically he he filed a 921 million dollar tax write-off yes so what they do when they do that they actually they they can't do it next year right you don't get a billion they actually extend it over 10 years mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. he claimed all this money his casinos lost that all the other casinos around him right made money right but he didn't mm-hmm. so 
this guy who is so uh I'm, I'm guessing cash poor i mean i'm guessing he's got buildings and stuff well the second thing outside of the co-signers on the loans is what he what his valuations were for the property that he has mm -hmm. because michael cohen already told us under oath in front of the senate that he way overvalued yeah. his properties to get way more money than he ever should have. And did he p maybe put them up as collateral for other things? Correct. And then that's what... And then he, which then, is against the law. And then he says the next year after he said they were worth $400 million, mm -hmm. he says uh, they've been depreciated to <laughs> $102 million. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. so, he, so that's $300 million that he lost. Right. So now he claims that on his taxes. Right. Do you guys right. understand that this guy... What a, like, guy's a like, fucking like loan people, shark. Rich people use game the system... This guy has just set it on fire. It doesn't yeah. give a shit. Yeah. And you guys voted for him. Guess what? Hey, hey, people that like this guy, I'm going to be clear. You're never going to get $400 million from your daddy. You're never going to own buildings. You're never, ever, 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 ever going to be this guy. I know you like him because he's stupid like you. I know you like him because he can't say words like you. I know why you like him. You think that you have a shot. But if Trump didn't have a $400 million daddy <laughs> inheritance... This guy would be, he'd be, he wouldn't long. even be here. He wouldn't we, wouldn't know, be, we wouldn't know who he was. We wouldn't know who he was. And the future would be different. Just want to go out on a limb Biff and Tannen. say that not everyone that still supports him can't speak. At this point, at this point, <laughs> though, say that, at, at probably, this point, right? anyone who supports him is a racist, flat out. I would say that after Sorry, there, last oh. night's um, really obvious display of that, that people, if you have not changed your mind today about whether or not he's racist, Cut some holes in a pillowcase, put it on, and, mm -hmm. and get a robe. Mm -hmm. Just rethink your life choices, I would say. It's but, like that book I was talking about last week that Pastor Kim was reading, and it actually, the subtitle of it is How Evangelicals Have Sold Their Soul to the mm -hmm. Devil mm -hmm. for Trump. I mean, it's you're really overlooking a lot f to win one issue or two issues. Wow. Isn't it funny how all those movies got it wrong? You know the devil. The devil and all these Damien Omen too. All the when the devil was a businessman. You know, right. Al, Al was Pacino, it a turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was always slick and yeah. cool, and, and, and smart. everybody wanted him. And then, mm -hmm. and and right, like right. he was Fonzie. Like Fonzie. Let's put it. In, but he was the coolest dude you want yeah. to hang around with. The devil was, yeah. and and. Do, 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 yeah, it's so much better <laughs> that it's just like this big bloviating moron. Him, them showing the back angle, Biden slim and trim in his suit, standing at the podium, and then him with his giant gut and his big butt. And, and his like it, weird distended it like. It's so rubs. weird. And because he's on heels. Back, off, oh, yeah, yeah. He's on his yeah. kitten, their kitten heels. He's got kitten heels. Mind. He's got kitten heels. And he, and, but the flaps of his jacket sit on his butt like a shelf, and he's doing, I mean, it's just he's all just one of those, so like, weird. Car dealership, you know, inflatable things. I get if he looks yeah. like Brad Pitt, because. <laughs> Well, but not. But you're not trusting that guy. If they, that guy's Satan, if Satan shows up looking like Brad Pitt and all cool, you're like, I don't know, this guy's too perfect. I'd, I'd, I'd take my chances. I'd say, mm, let, me, let me do some field research. <laughs> Satan field research? You come so back, you, you, could, you come back like this, you're like, oh yeah, he's Satan. <laughs> <laughs> he's got you all of his put ribs. put on a video, uh, it was something. That's not funny. <laughs> He's got all of his ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What an asshole. <laughs> he he, he stabbed you in the back. had on oh. a video that had Brad Pitt. It had a bunch of people, Jennifer Aniston, a bunch of actors and actresses oh, yeah, during this quarantine. And I, Matthew McConaughey comes up and I was like, holy crap, he looks like Mrs. Doubtfire. She goes, who's that woman? And that old was, British woman. <laughs> that's what she said. Quarantine has not been kind to Matthew McConaughey. Sorry. And then they go to Brad Pitt and he actually goes... Damn it! Uh, yeah, <laughs> like like he's his hair's his hair's effed up, and his his shirt's a little disheveled, and he Beard. fucking fuck really, yeah, and he yeah. still looks like and that. Like God, like Brad, Justin glowing. Timberlake, and, and Ryan Reynolds look at Brad Pitt and go, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wears it well. By the way, I told you this this morning, and I think that this will probably help, and then we'll get back oh, to I found the a really good, stressful conversation. I found a conversation. good position where my ribs just started, just some pressure. I've been try I've been oh, really good. uncomfortable. I know. Right. I can tell your eyes have watered a little bit. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I told you this morning you need to start using feels because I don't think you have been using it since you said CBD started. This morning, yeah. CBD oil is so important for healing and, and anti-inflammatory. 
anti-inflammatoriation and anti-inflammatories that's not still what i wanted to say it is an anti-inflammatory um sounds like something that you put in your butt when it gets a positive you can't you could no oh no 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 not this what are we putting hey, in my Hey, you know what you should use for <laughs> the pain and inflammation? No, what? Because I could use it now. Feels. Uh, CBD oil. Actually, do you have any with you? Because I think I do. you really do need to take it. Um, so it's all the talking. My ribs going in and out. Like yeah, this. you're using good. it a lot. So Feels is just a better way to feel better. You guys know I love this product because it gets delivered to your doorstep. You don't have to leave. You can continue to live your best life from your house alone. In your pajamas. In your pajamas. Um, it's premium CBD. Keeps your head clear. Helps you feel your best. Um, it's been proven to greatly reduce anxiety, sleeplessness, pain, um, all those things that we all have now that this guy's in office um they also have a customer hotline in case you don't know about it do you use cbd oil no. ever no. oh you should, Dude, you should. it's it, it's not like thc at all you actually especially the feel stuff you take it and you're like okay and then about mm, 35 minutes later you just feel better you, you don't just know like that drops you took under it your you just, you're just like you're just like uh, mm -hmm. oh all that you would never gone. go oh wow it just hit it's not you don't right feel it. it's not no, a you high. just all of a sudden yeah, notice he's into it oh i'm not upset anymore i'm not i don't have anxiety it helps me sleep more than anything has if ever anything, helped I would try me it yes sleep. thank god feels thank you for that <laughs> instead of every morning i haven't slept yeah. or if i move don't wake me up <laughs> i just i rolled over while i was sleeping is that what i sound like you're sleeping bad I never said that because that's incorrect grammar, first said. of all. <laughs> I can't say what you've said. <laughs> oh, now you're going to stop. Oh, now you're going to clean up your language, even though your 16 year old son is walking around. He's heard the words. I know, but you're trying to give him a non white trashy example. Jet, have I been swearing less around you? No. Damn it. <laughs> Jet. <laughs> More. Can you start punching him in the ribs whenever he Ooh. does? He said yes. He said yeah. That's great. Um, All right. Good. So this is great. You can just feel better naturally. You guys got to try it. Try it for sleep. It'll, it makes a big difference. Um, you can join the Feels community. You can join and get a membership. Um, it comes to your door every month. You save money on every order. You can pause it, cancel it at any time. It's super easy. Check out the website. Go to, you can become a member. Get 50% off your first order if you go to feels.com. That's F E A L S.com and get 50% off your first order. Free shipping. I screwed that up. I forgot the slash Titus. Feels has me feeling my best every day, and it can help you too. Become a member by wow. going to feels.com slash Titus. That's that guy. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash Titus. You get 50% off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash Titus to become a member. 50% automatically taken off first order with free shipping. Well, if you're going to do the ad like that, why even talk about it? Like, you can just do the ad, like a commercial. You just, like, I love the clap. By the way, he got, he got so much crap for becoming this, like, shill spokesman guy. By the way, <laughs> by the way, by the way. Uh, Go to fields.com. <laughs> that being said, that being said, that being said. Um, it's because I keep screwing it up. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm having, are you having sinus stuff, allergy stuff, or am I dying? I, recently I did. Okay. A couple days ago I did. Usually you have mm -hmm. it if I. Um, yeah, it's blocked up. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe Sneezing. because of the fires. And it definitely is giving me this really like woozy headache mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. upset stomach. And so I keep screwing up the ad. So I thought I would at least try and get that out the way that they would like it out. Very nice. Instead of. Uh, but uh, I've, I'm noticing this too and I think it's because I'm in pain A but I'm also taking so much Advil yeah. I need to get feels because I've been taking so much Advil that like I, it's, I feel yeah, you don't I that. feel loopy yeah you know, I, I mean, I yeah, yeah, my pain's down but I'm gonna need it's a gonna, liver it transplant it feels like, right yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know it and, feels like a drug yeah yeah, at one it point it feels like it feels <laughs> oh, stop it both of you <laughs> uh, um, so patent pending you said something today that was interesting you said uh, we got a phone call with your dad Dad hurt his leg, doesn't know how. 
my dad was fine. Um, he was sitting on the kitchen stool, and all of the sudden his ankle started throbbing. And for my dad to say something was brutally painful, it has. To, my dad fell out of a helicopter in Vietnam, a hundred feet to the ground, oh, and sh- laid there for a week. Um, so it has to be intense. And he said he couldn't use his leg anymore, couldn't put weight on it, and now he's been in bed all day, and his ankle has swollen. And so he's going to the doctor in the morning. I don't know what it is. He's on blood thinners. He was concerned it was a blood clot. I don't know. But it's just, it seems like, and what brought this on, I know what you're going to say, was that everyone yeah, seems- in my life over the last, since COVID and ever, this, this year, especially the last couple of months, is having serious stuff that they're dealing with like really tough things i you know we have a friend whose brother just started leaking spinal fluid and they can't get it to stop inside his body it wasn't squirting out they and now they've discovered that there's a second leak leak, and both procedures didn't work very healthy person super healthy black belt you just got Ma- like a mask, like a, almost like a master in karate. Yeah, it's really and and but it's like one thing. And then I was talking to Ash Cash today, and she's having really serious stuff going. It's like everyone Shit. I talk to is, I mean, divorce, family death. My buddy Chip. Um, I mean, it's like it's crazy, and I don't know. I mean, can you? Th- Should we just back up. From, are you like, Can I is it me? Do you think? Yeah, no, are you're you the con- I, I, I will say this: you're the common denominator in all of this. <laughs> There's one thing that's Everyone connected. Over. My ribs are broken. I think the one thing connected to all of this is you. And you seem you to be fine. Your ribs, yeah, that was a, that was tough when he when he broke his ribs. It was bad. We should talk about at it. home. Bad are you are fall. you drawing circles around you with like candles? It's exactly. not a, it's, it's, you know, it's not and, a circle. It's a like, star sh- with a circle. Yeah, is that she, weird? Did we get that bedspread. It's like a five. I thought it was kind of cool, but it's a black bedspread with a no. red star a star inside a circle. Is that? Yeah. Oh. She keeps hmm. It's from Crate and Barrel. What are your, do you have any mantras that you're Crate and Barrel, which is a Wiccan <laughs> company uh, <laughs> based in Salem. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I don't. I didn't think about that, but actually, yeah. That's you're the connective tissue to the nightmare. Okay, I'll go with that. So here's what I've, I'm noticing. My even my stepdad. We were on vacation. My sister's going through a divorce after 23 years. But she also found something that makes her happy. Not and from she's my got a stepdad. new puppy. <laughs> There's upside. Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. What that have you was done? bad. Um, and then my stepdad had been seeing this person, and um, he gets a call at the end of vacation that her brother went on his motorcycle the night before, and it was foggy and rammed into the back of an 18 wheeler, and then two cars ran over him. Holy he died. Shit. I mean, I'm. So, it's Holy like shit. he was doing like 100 miles. Stop backing fog, up. It's not me. <laughs> I didn't even know her. Jet, go home. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I'm knocking on all the wood. I think everybody's going through stuff right now. Here's what you've, what, it's easy. First of all, the rest of the world, when, when, before COVID, we were all busy. You know, you had stuff to do. Sure. And what I think is happening is all these things are happening because COVID, the stop in COVID has kind of made us, A, it gives, it made us crazy. We're all a little bit nutty. Don't you think we're all mm-hmm. a little manic? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like life feels uh-huh. very unusual. Yep. Yep. And people, we get it, man. We get it. Like, I, and, and also, our leadership is so unreasonable right now it's crazy. And, and insane that we don't know what the F is going on. So stress is no joke. It will have an effect. Physically stress is on no you. joke. And, yeah. and, and it's, and it's constant. We've mm-hmm. had you guys, guys, you have to understand we've, we, we have four years of PTSD because of this mm-hmm. guy mm-hmm. just this week, just this week, we found out that he's ripped off the U S government for millions and millions and millions of dollars. And he's the president. Then we saw a display that they were interviewing reporters from other countries last night. They were just saying that they feel bad for us. In England, they go, it just seemed like it just seemed like it was just a, a brutal yell fest. It was nothing. There was no issues discussed. They mm-hmm. were mocking us. Mm-hmm. Like, we are a joke worldwide because of this guy. So it's not just our families are screwed up because of COVID and we're, money is gone. We're not on the road working. We're stressing. It's, it, it's then you go to your bigger f- friends and family. They're going through the same thing. Mm-hmm. That stress adds to health problems. That adds to everything. So what's happened is because this fucking moron, excuse my language, sorry, Jet, is, is, is sometimes the word is important, though. He has been so bad for America 
that he's mm-hmm. destroyed America. And I don't just mean our, our institutions, the post office, uh, the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, uh, the, the HHS. He's destroyed all of that. And, uh, uh, oh my God, the Secretary of State, uh, the Justice Department, Jesus, the guys. Well, his closing statements last night, he said flat out, if I lose, I'm not going to accept that. So and then calls on Twitter in that two minutes and then on Twitter calls on people to volunteer sign up here to be Trump's army or go to the polling places to to oversee to make sure what the fuck yeah exactly yeah yeah, exactly I'm not sorry Jet so so (laughs) thank you thank you see I just got backed up even Jet's like what the no (laughs) Uh, um, but here's the thing so we're going through this all the time and the weird part is this level of stress has become normal we stop noticing it, but it's there. Uh, well, speaking of words, I, I really wish Biden body slammed him on. He did it right there in the debate. The two two things that he said right then and there that s- conveyed so much about his where he s- stands on things that have an actual effect. The fact that he said, uh, I'm OK with masks. I'm OK with masks. And then Just, made ah, fun of him for fine. wearing a mask. You know, if you want to wear them, wear them, yeah, whatever. This guy, yeah. this guy wears a mask every day. Oh, you mean The biggest mask I've ever seen. You mean the, the one thing that we have right now that but can stop it? But as you said, Melania's wearing a diaper she as she walked in. She was wearing a giant diaper on her face. <laughs> Biden was classy enough to not point that out. And, and that's and what I think Biden's doing. Biden's showing us that we thing? need to. Uh, well, it's about the, you know, the white supremacist thing. That he didn't go right after yeah. him he for not. He gave them a was, shout Oh my God. Out. He could have just said, of course, what? Are you kidding? Of course not. Yeah. These guys are terrorists. These guys are. Yeah. He gave them a shout out. Uh, it's, 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 it's. You I'm, guys get that, right? He shouted out to a white supremacist group in a national debate. You get that, right? Please tell me you get that. So we are now, and there's a bunch of people that are so smart. I, th- I think, so here's, here's an interesting thing, and I don't know which side it's going on. Um, a year, the last election at this point in early voting, there was 9,025 votes cast. As of yesterday, at the same day, there's been over a million 100,000 votes cast. Right. Which means people realized, you know, we got, we, we, if you look at it this way, let's go back to, let's go back to Reagan. Uh, let's go back to Carter. Carter, you know, Carter was innocuous. Carter was a good man. He, let's say he wasn't great. You know, he, he got it after Ford and Nixon. Right. I um, go, sorry, mm-hmm. go but we're used to transitioning to, to a yeah. decent guy. We're used to. Oh, all right. I don't agree with this guy politically. Uh, I don't like that. He's for the rich people, not for everybody else. This guy's anti-union. But at least there was a class. Right. And even with Clinton, Clinton's personally, whatever. But at least Clinton, when it came to business, he knew he had a legacy to do. And he did it. He did what he did. When it comes to business, you know, for the for the country, I thought he did a good job. When it came to his personal life, I just life, miss, pe- you know, people like you know him and Bush, as dumb as we thought Bush H-W, was. H.W. who <laughs> ran the CIA, his um, dad. Them just knowing how to to be presidential. Being presidential is a part of being president. Well, that's a message Getting too. Getting up and inspiring hope in mm-hmm. the people that you're leading, being a mm-hmm. leader, not tearing people down, but lifting everyone up and inspiring them to come together instead of trying to tear them apart. Mm-hmm. I miss that. Like, I'm I remember tired w, of like, this. I, I was not a fan of W, but after 9-11, he walked out into ground zero with a bullhorn, and what he said made me go, and, and it, it was fired up. We were like, oh, oh, no, they'll know we're coming yeah. for him. This dude, you just like, dude, well, I would Russia, Putin says something different. Yeah, I That's would. him. I wouldn't hang out with you, like, no matter how much money you have. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. And, and the weirdest thing, the weirdest thing, so we've forgotten that. So we're all living in this weird PS, PTSD world where we're afraid of this deadly pandem- pandemic. We're getting news every day that nine, they, there's nine out of ten people that have, are going to have a lifetime malady. There was a new report out. Like, it's going to be whatever, it's some brain fog um, even even uh, Chris Cuomo saying that yeah he has things. There's days that he just can't from having not, COVID. From having COVID that he can't get up. And there's a lot. And he's not one of the bad long haulers, but he said nine out of ten people will have something. Luckily, nine out of ten. They're called long haulers. Yeah. Well, it's going to be different severity, but yes, nine out of ten people will have a lifetime malady because of this. My daughter didn't. Thank God. Thank God, Kenny didn't. But I am. I, if I get it, man, I'm. You know, something permanent is going to. Something per- to you. Uh, c- college athletes. And here's the weird part. College athletes, the best in shape people pretty much on the planet, at the peak of their youth, at the peak of their powers physically, they found 35% of them are having heart problems. 
that after had they got COVID. COVID. Yeah. They just pulled that. They started football again. Guess what happened? Look it up. Who was it? Was it Baltimore Ravens? Notre Dame. Oh, you mean the no, college the, or the regular the NFL. NFL? The NFL. Also, sh- Notre Dame had a dinner and a bunch of them tested positive. So that's been put off. So people, if you think that this is over, we're, it hasn't even. It hasn't even. It hasn't even gone down the peak. We're not even to the peak yet. And, and they keep saying October, November, it's going to go through the roof. Mm-hmm. And this asshole, sorry, Jet, keeps saying stuff like, yeah, masks are okay. Yeah. Are they okay? And Biden wears them all the time. Yeah, because Biden understands science. And leadership and yeah. setting an example. And then he, said, then he said last night in the debate, he goes, he goes, Fauci said masks, we didn't need masks. Yeah, in February, right, on the, like the first day. Here, and then he said, no, we need masks. How about the most recent thing that he yeah, said? So, yeah, he changed his mind pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Like it was pretty quick. It was like, yeah, like, you know what? The good thing is this is worse than we thought it was. And, and I don't, and that you, that the dumb of the dumb follow this dumb man. And, and I don't care if you hate me or not. I really don't. At this point, I don't care he what really you. really doesn't. I, 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 I no, what? You really don't. I don't care what you think. You're, you're, at, uh, my at, sister and I are often inspired by you. Um, because we care about some things because we were raised as girls, females in the South. There's a lot of extra layers of how you have to be and act and yeah. look and shame and all this crap. Yeah, you have a lot of shame and guilt, yes. But you, nope. man, you are just like, woo, about you could care. The, the crap these people say to you online and you laugh. You, there is, he loses zero sleep over it. I am amazed as I lie next to him wide awake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I listen to what this guy said. Some guy last night who's a lefty from Canada, I guess he watched, Amer- uh, he watched uh, Amerigeddon and he, f- and here, this is, this is the toll tweet, something like, Fuck you, Titus. This country, he goes, your country's never been great. Never made war mongers, genocide, and just listed it. So mm-hmm. fuck you, you hack. No one even knows what you're mm-hmm. talking about. You substar. And I just wrote back, do you need a hug? <laughs> <laughs> People are like just <laughs> sending me the laughter emoji like, dude, is that's the perfect response. Yeah. And then, and, and, and I think what's funny is that uh, if you're, and I hate people with they're factless. These feckless, factless people who just keep throwing. Some guy threw something out. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Biden got $3.5 million. Well, he's an investment banker. It's not his money, and he invested it. That's what they found out. There's no crime there. They, okay. It look, Washington Post looked it up. I, maybe I'm wrong with that, but it, it's not what they say it is. Right. And they keep coming up with stuff. And the dumb people keep following it. And I don't understand. Uh, let's say this. Let's say Trump was the most competent. Let's say every one of his businesses had just made it. Let's say they'd all made mm-hmm. money. Let's say he was worth $25 billion. Let's say he was Bezos and he was okay. $200 billion. And he still acted like this. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, and, he, and he still acted and yeah. did what he did last night. I still don't see why he should be president. Why would you let a guy like that represent Well, here's an example. This country. Um, because everyone's saying, oh, he just used the loopholes. You know, he's a businessman. Mm-hmm. Tom Steyer, who actually is a real billionaire, billionaire a real businessman. Who, who makes money a lot. Makes money. Makes so much money, he doesn't ever have to do anything Tom except Tom Steyer money. tweeted what? He paid what? He goes, last year I paid $32 million in taxes. but that's Which is not a lot, probably, compared to what he took in. Right. But he still paid $32 million. Trump took 70 to almost three, $73 million. I mean, there's a problem there. Um, I'm just saying, while you're stuck you at home. That, do, you, wait, do you think this was a big plan to <laughs> why, just get why rid of all this Why do you step on my transition, uh, my segue? So while you're stuck at home. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Well, nope. Okay. While you're stuck at home, um, you still got to eat, just like haters got to hate. And uh, eaters got to eat. Eaters haters got to hate. Eat. Ballers got to ball. That's right. And you vegans still vegans got to veg. No. Um, you want to eat healthy, and you want to eat solid meals for you and your family, and protein. Do you know I start when you start macro balance, so you can get butcher box. Um, <laughs> because when it comes to meat quality, I'm matters. just thinking of Trust ch- me, it really does. I am just thinking about the butcher box chicken you cooked last night and uh, how good it was. It was awesome. Actually, uh, it, I grilled it, fired up the grill in the dark mm. outside. Did I was mm. like, oh, we got yeah. a light out there. Yeah, we do. Before you came home, but I just thought how good it's that sounded. Tastes better. 
Yeah, it was a little smokier. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I was outside. I actually would pause the debate before you got home because I needed a minute to breathe. And I think I was stressing the dogs out because Groucho was standing on the table, like shaking. So I grilled last night before he got home. Um, Butcher Box believes everyone deserves high quality, humanely sourced meat every month. You get a curated selection, comes to your house again. You guys know that I love that, of high quality meat right to your home. All meat is free of antibiotics and added hormones. Each box has nine to 11 pounds of meat, which is like 24 individual meals. It's a no brainer, comes right to your door. 100% 100% grass-fed finished beef, free-range organic chicken, heritage pork, wild-caught Alaskan salmon, and sugar and nitrate-free bacon. I love that it's wild-caught because the, the caught salmon is so good. And every time, every time, we've had people over to a barbecue or whatever mm-hmm. at, at, with butcher box meat, they've all been like, what is this? And then, and yeah, we signed up some people, haven't we? Oh, yeah. I, uh, we had family members even. Because oh, yeah, yeah. my dad was like, they what? They Hamburger send meat to your house? Do you, com- to you don't have to go. Yeah, he <laughs> did have to go to the Google. He definitely did. But um, it's the most affordable, convenient way, obviously, to get healthy, humanely raised meat. Uh, right now, ButcherBox is offering new members. Oh, what? Oh, my favorite. Two lobster tails and two filet mignons for free. What? In their first box. That's two lobster tails, two filet mignons. Have they always had lobster completely tails? Completely free in your first box. It changes. Like I say, go on the website, drag and drop into the box. You know what? As hard as I've worked this year trying to make something happen and breaking my ribs, I want some lobster tails. I am a lobster Whore? Fun, yes. Thank you. My whole life. Lobster. Just, yeah, if anyone said, it like, nice. it wasn't <laughs> what is your I've favorite food? Her. Lobster. I love lobster. So you can get those two lobster tails and two filet mignons for free in your first box just by going to butcherbox.com slash Titus. That's butcherbox.com slash Titus. That's crazy. It's so much better than the old way of getting your meat. Like somebody would just, you know, walk a cow to your house or yeah, you'd bring a bell or something. Or the really old way, way where you had to like hunt in the in the forest. Yeah, and drag it yeah, home. Yeah, drag it home mm-hmm. on a sled with your with your new wife. Yeah, yeah, her, yeah, exactly. You know? Pray to God that 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 the gore hole that the which bull was had definitely made. not humane at all. No, no, no not yeah. the way mm-hmm. that butcher box is. I like that we've come up with a good way. Humane. Who's humane? Is humane? Is the animal dead? Yeah. Who mm. well, we did it humanely? Humanely looks, raised. Yeah, they are. They're great. The grass fed and stuff. It's awesome. It makes a difference. I, I, yeah, I never believed that. I always thought it was some bullshit sales technique by some, whatever company was doing it. And I have to say that the chicken is so good. It really is. Every time I, t- I know I, I talk about the chicken all the time. The chicken breast is. It's just awesome. You can customize, my rib or went, they have preset boxes. Room. You can yeah, decide. My rib just went. Sometimes they had. Last year they had scallops for a while. Scallops. I knew you were going to say that. That's how I used to say it. Until, Until you said I, it. I'm like, oh, that's, I've been saying it wrong. I love that you just accept that that's the right way to say it. It was because <laughs> I said to him, how do you like, say? Oh, oh, Titus is stupid. <laughs> how do you, I, I, like, so I've been saying it. He made a choice. He was like, oh, she, okay. Well, you were pretty because confident Because I said it, so to like, him, oh, how do you say the word A-L-L? And he said all. And I said, okay. Yeah, but all doesn't have ops after. It would be allops. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <sighs> Scallops. I feel like I've heard like commercials with- Al- Outback goes to the gym together. and does a lot of pull-ups. Those would be allops. <laughs> what? Thank you. The way you're saying it, they would be polyps. <laughs> <laughs> polyps. Right? No, don't. Don't. You've got I broken ribs. No, okay. Fine. He only weighs a couple of pounds. Okay. <laughs> this poor little guy. He's been not feeling good. He's not feeling well. I think he's worried that we're, we don't feel good. He does polyps. He has been, yeah, yeah, so you don't say I do polyps. You you do pull-ups, right? Pull-ups are U-L-L, not (laughs) A-L-L. But I'm saying here's another, because you brought up pull-ups. God, I'm getting older. I may be doing polyps pretty soon. a different word it's a kegel <laughs> she you know what's great That's about her when she's trying to make her a point and i do something funny she just says she does this now she just goes <laughs> it's just all right it's almost like i've just annoyed the teacher the teacher knows i'm funny but the teacher's not gonna let it go because the class is gonna be disrupted and now from sea to shining I don't, sea i'm just all right fine con it con and it's sometimes space it's bombshell ray bringing you the bombshell you knew. Oh, God, I can't even speak English. The bombshell news. Actually, every time I move, my, it's going click, 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 click right now. I need, oh. to, I need to rewrap after this. Is it wrapped still? 
Yeah, it's kind of fallen below it a little bit. Oh. So it's, got, it's going dink, 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 dink. Under your teats? Mm. Under my teats. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I kept telling him I was putting a girdle on him. He didn't like that. I it did know. make your um, pack muscles stand up higher. It's how we do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Right. yeah. The girdle. 100%. I didn't realize my yeah. boobs were droopy. <laughs> <laughs> Turns you don't have man boobs. You don't have boobs. Uh-uh. Man right. boobs. What did Tony Horton call you when you first met him? Cluster I mean, boobs? in hindsight now, he told you when you showed up, uh, you were... Doughy, chubby. Call me doughy, chubby, which I was never... Pudgy, do- doughy. Or yeah, pudgy, chubby. Yeah. Mess. Yeah. Yeah. Pod, yeah, you're a mess. You kind of looked at him like, okay. I don't remember that, but okay. Didn't say that then. Say no, you were very, you were very, you were very positive. Now that we're friends, wow, you're a douche. Yeah. All right. Uh, machete wielding North Carolina man leaves bloody satanic messages on sorority house. Of course he did. You know, what? some girls like bad boys. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? You know, all the other girls are like, "Hey, he's crazy." <laughs> you don't get him. He's right. <laughs> you don't get him. It's <laughs> it's how we all got here, <laughs> and and why we all flinch when you move too fast. It's, it's it's yeah. And why you know how to use a Ouija board? It's the first ten years, you bad boy, bad boy, bad boy, and then you learn your lesson, and you're tired of crying. And then you go for a nice one. Yeah, and then you're a little bo- a little more bored, but you don't cry as much. You're actually happy. Don't you find yourself happy now? Don't you find yourself happy? I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's really funny. <laughs> In your box. Ah, uh, don't touch me, man. Because <laughs> right, every, that hurt I my know, ribs. I was, Just I so you know, guys, if you, you. If, you, if, you, if you break a rib... Every you find out that every nerve yeah. in your body is your connected body directly is to that rib. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Everything is. Yeah, 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 if the brain just goes, "Hey guys, rewire every 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 movement through that rib." I've learned yeah. to not help him. By the way, everybody, is this is the audio going out today, or mm-hmm. the audio Wait, will tomorrow? You'll put it out tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So when you're listening to this, it is Christopher Titus's birthday. Thir- so Thursday, yeah. So if it's Friday, this usually goes tomorrow. out Friday morning. No, but he's going to put it up early because it's debate coverage. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're going to be working on this. Okay. The, the so we just, audio, got, just, we just got told what we're doing this I afternoon. said <laughs> audio, but you're not trying to listen. Speaking of I audio. Said you're audio. Not using yeah. your audio. <laughs> Thank you, Ken Highlander. Highland. Why is your Gmail email address spelled differently oh. than your real last name? Well, spelling? first of all, both spellings are in my family lineage super is it H I or H Y? it's the legal spelling my legal no, spelling is H Y L I see that's not in question the Y it's in both so it's L-I-N-D on one and L-A-N-D on yes another. the A-N-D I was, might have set that up uh, no 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 I did it I, I set that up yeah. years ago when I was just a solo artist and just graphically in the way it pe- everyone was misspelling it anyway and I'm like fuck it so it's just, it looks A-N-D? better. I'm going H-Y-L-A-N-D. But were, did work. you grow up so you, I-N-D? Yeah. So oh. you followed the crowd instead of standing up for yourself. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, instead of, I, I don't have time to keep correcting everybody. And it looks better. So I'm going to go with that. And it's in my family chair, name. chair, but she didn't give up. Chair. And look where she is now. <laughs> actually, oh, chair. Actually, actually, they called her Chur. Which is <laughs> <laughs> way worse. Yeah. Hey, Chur. Sunny, sunny and Chur? <laughs> what, what is this? This is a dumb Although name. I said it really Southern. Chair. It's coming out. I find, I don't know why during COVID, maybe because I'm alone a lot more, my Southern is coming out. And I've, You're the person I've seen the most, I beg your pardon, is uh, my sister. And my sister has a little bit of it. And and I saw grandma. And so yeah, I think. It, it, it's funny. All three of you, it sneaks a little when bit. we're together. I like it though. It's cute. Oh, grandma's doesn't sneak. Grandma's full out there. Yeah. It's 100%. Uh, anyway, uh, the officers responded to a call of a man armed with a machete walking in an area of Greenville, North Carolina, in apparent distress. Different guy or same guy? Same Second guy. Amendment. Same, same. Second the man Amendment. appeared to have harmed himself and was using his own blood to smear messages on nearby vehicles and the sorority house. I like that their statement says he was in apparent distress. Yeah, he uh, had cut himself. The man with quoted, a "Nobody had a pen." <laughs> 
I'm just saying. I just needed a Sharpie, but no. Thank God I had a machete. A really Sharpie. A student that lives near the sorority house, a student of ECU, which I have a cousin going there, told the station he saw a couple of upside-down crosses that said, Hail Satan. Where was this now? in blood. Greenville, North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Uh, notice I didn't say hail. I said hail. Wait a minute. So what's they're very was religious this? there? Was, was this Lucifer's uh, uh, Lucifer uh, Kappa Kappa evil? What was it? What was the sorority of this? Yes. <laughs> I didn't go to college. So I don't know. <laughs> yes. Um, Could I, just be a decoration. Could be for Halloween. I, sure, it's not. Um, it was no Halloween usually, store. Sororities, you know, like we would make our letters for our shirts out of pink Mm -hmm. cheetah print. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Carla. Um, Or rainbow fabric. It's not usually upside down crosses made of blood. I'll just throw that out there. They weren't made of blood. They had blood on them. And by the way, is that how far Satanists have gone? Like that was your whole thing? You just flipped the cross upside down? It's still a, a right. it's still trying a, to make a Greek letter out of it. It's still an off axis X. What do you like? What do you do? Is that it? Is that, yeah. is that are we all scared now? It's a lowercase T. Exactly. It's upside down T, by the way. You know, written by a dumb person. Yes. Uh, a woman was arrested for using six different children to steal Trump campaign signs. Authorities say this was upstate written New York. She was arrested on Sunday. Allegedly using They're six all, children. All Trump signs are written in blood. Yes. <laughs> the machetes. blood of Americans. <laughs> She's been Boom. charged with six counts of endangering the welfare of a child, criminal possession of stolen property, pettit larceny, marijuana possession, two citations for seatbelt violations. Um, but she was made head of the local DNC. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in other news, the, uh, <laughs> Donna has been promoted. To, I'm not sure if she wanted to... Ha- this was my question about this. If you guys hear any more about this, tell me. Did she want to own the signs? No, she was Because she, was she looks off. in the picture like a Trump supporter. Just saying there is a certain look for the ones that mm-hmm. are that be criming. Mm-hmm. The Lincoln Project put out a great one. It just said it said it was two boxes. It said America, and then it said Trump, and then America was checked. And I thought that's a that's a you know uh, with our neighborhoods, man. I don't know. I thought about getting one, and I've never been that guy. And then I thought, man, after hearing what our neighbors talk about, just don't want a house. We live them. next to a Karen for sure. Oh, she's a super Karen. Oh, no. I can hear her in the morning through she the, but I can't see her. I can't see yeah. her. Uh, I think I've determined that they're gophers, mm-hmm. and they are currently ruining my life. Mm-hmm. They all have Karen haircuts, and oh. she won't let me <laughs> yeah. do anything. She won't let me. I want to flood the gopher holes. She won't let me do that. Uh, we heard someone said put spearmint gum at the. You can't at the, flood. She won't let the you holes. use gum. Oh, I gum. That's what I thought. I like, hate to what? use the gum. Well, I just don't want. I, 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 don't, I here's what I thought. I thought that seems like the dumbest thing. But to you get rid haven't of gophers. met my gophers. These gophers, they would just come out of the breath. holes the next day, yeah. going. <laughs> Is this it? You got it. By the way, I like cherry, <laughs> asshole. Wait, wait, don't forget. There. <laughs> and then chew the gum. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> middle fingers up. Um, yeah, so that problem is still ongoing. Stay tuned. It's just a lot of murder to own a house. But and thanks for all oh, the Oh, but you know help. what? Do you know what? Um, so we have a tree. Yeah. It's, it's being a homeowner. Don't like, we, have, we had the house in Northern California, but it, we don't go there a lot, right? <laughs> That's the whitest sentence ever said. Um, it's a snow place, you know? And right <laughs> now it's double, a... Right I double now. down on white. So white. And right now it's uh, a fireplace, so we don't want to go there. Exactly. Um, and PG&E has turned the power off again. Yes. Uh, and the water is off. Yes. So... Um, where was I going with it? Oh, so there is a tree in our Sue. front yard, so uh, that everyone has been saying nice olive tree. So I'm like, okay. And everyone that comes over comments on this, even the dog groomer. Wow, Warning. this is an old olive tree. Warning. Like, this is really valuable. It's the been sentence here is about to get a lot wider. Go ahead. So I started thinking, can you, you get... Saw- all, turns out you can get olives off of an olive tree. Who knew? And they are growing, and the tree is full. So I went online yesterday because I'm at home a lot alone. And um, you can pick the olives and make your own olives, which is happening you in the Titus home this year. You can make your olives from olives. And, and well, now, no, wow. no, you have to cure them. You have to do oh, it. takes oh, six months. I'm going to make yeah. the sentence even whiter. And I said, Got to get them drunk. What if we can make our own olive oil? You did say that. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't want to do so all that. So we are now so white, we've started thinking about artisan olive oil. 
I give up. I quit. <laughs> I'm only feeling like this because I got broken ribs and it just clicked. Again. I would argue Don't though, make me laugh. that Damn, I am sort of like the frontier woman and I'm living off the land yeah, yeah. because I am the one that has created the Armageddon closet outside that is packed full of everything that we could need. We're going to survive through Armageddon. He has stocked the cabin with MREs for three months for yep. two people. Now lots and of olives. And we're going to have lots and of olives. Piles of olives. But during Armageddon, you'll be surprised at what you eat mm -hmm. just to make it Amazing freeze-dried spam and an amazing, aming <laughs> jar of homemade ho ho mm -hmm. canned olives. Italian <laughs> herbed. <laughs> Using it in everything. Chardonnay it's olives. It's Chardonnay <laughs> olives sounds awesome. <laughs> and by the way, we're naming our kid that. <laughs> okay, so if you guys know anything about making olives, hit me up because I've never done it. But I do want to use them because they're just hanging up there, taunting me. Yeah, they're me. just gonna ruin the. They're just gonna ruin the walkway. So let's just let's, let's, we'll pick them. We will. I just well, learned. I it. have a rib problem. I can't do it, <laughs> okay. but you can. You're All also right. tall enough. You to pick also them. have a dude problem. A uh, herd of charging cows in England kill second man in one month. Police are calling on witnesses to help in the investigation. So these are serial killer cows. Wow, that's weird. But in herd, they went after one guy. <laughs> they all got together. <laughs> they're, they're proud boy cows. Yeah. Herd. He wouldn't move. These cows no. are Antifa. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. It was, it was hey, utterly a, stupid how oh, he died. There you go. I'm <laughs> in a really bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use the same word. You're going to do the a only different word. word. That's the only word we got. I Look said out. utterly stupid how he uh, died. Utterly. Right. Wow. Now you have to come wow. up with right. one. Well, just come on. Let's hoof it. Let's go. <laughs> finish this. Finish this. Let's finish this podcast. I'm trying to milk it a little bit. <laughs> And go. Nice, nice teats. <laughs> no, but that's not a real word for cows. That's Why udders. You? you can't just say teats because that's what you call them. <laughs> what? Sponsored by Butcher Box. <laughs> this yeah, exactly. episode. <laughs> A 72-year-old man in England died after being charged charged by a herd of cows, authorities said on Friday, marking the country's second such fatality in two weeks. How dumb do you have to be killed by a cow? <laughs> Well, they, even a bunch of them. Charged. Pr they're proud boy cows with the- Charged. You know, you do it like this. Here, ready? Ready? And I have broken ribs. I'm going to do it. Ready? Cows coming at you. Cows coming at you. Cows coming. Watch this. No. Look out. No, cows can g move when they they can really, ah, when they want it's to. It's so fast. No, yeah, but even, no, cows can't move when they want to. Cows, they're still cows. Okay, hold on. You're yeah. talking about What, are you bringing up the cow Olympics next? You're yeah, talking bulls, about a bull. <laughs> Was he having a red- and even then, if you, you just 25 miles per hour. No, a that's a lie. A herd of them. I just looked it up. Fake news. It is not. So they're just getting trampled by a herd of cows. They're all going, all right, guys, crank it up 25. All of them together, sleep? and they're like, yeah, right. All right yeah. I think he was yeah. doing something. He and was they standing with his, with his chum. They were like standing there. His name's Malcolm. If you want to see his picture, he actually looks like a guy that would be charged Send by a up. herd of cows. Oh, yeah, that guy. He's got to oh, go. Oh, even cows I, you know like, Fuck this guy. Look yeah, at that even, sweater. Yeah, cows, yeah. I, I was like, can we get the cows on this, this dickhead? Oi. Hey, we, He's need, got we, his collar we need to kill this guy. I'm sending the cows. <laughs> the I'm, slowest, dumbest animal I'm, after Yeah, yeah exactly, because this guy's not going to be able to handle it. Just a week <laughs> prior to Malcolm dying, teacher Dave Clark died after cows injured him while he was walking near Richmond, North Yorkshire. Yeah, I mean, but that guy, the wind could have just killed him. Okay, so him. the first guy, weird freak he accident. Was not. First way, the other guy was a teacher that went to work. I, Malcolm was I'm just, 72. I'm just saying, first guy, first guy, weird accident, fine. Second guy, mm -hmm. deserved to die. If you knew this was a dangerous cow area, yeah, the you showed up cows again, yeah, in right, the area. We have you cow would predators, never yeah. think that it was a thing. You would never think, oh, a herd of cows is looking to attack people. That was a freak accident. Who gets attacked by cows? Didn't you hear the new conspiracy I will theory? say this. I will say this. If somebody uh, in recently in the neighborhood got killed by a cows and there was still cows in a field, I'd be like, you know, man, I'm watching. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking paying attention to cows. I'm not a moron. Who's letting the cows run loose, though? This is an experiment. Government. MCOW Ultra. Yeah, MCOW Ultra. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Police are calling on witnesses that were in the area to please come forward and help with the investigation. What would there be to investigate? You have to interview some cows. All right. <laughs> so uh, where were you on Wednesday when the teacher was walking around? Mo don't mow. <laughs> oh, cow towning. It's a cow spirit. <laughs> I was tipping. Me and, buddies were, me and my buddies were uh, tipping. Humans? Yeah. <gasps> They're human tipping. 
Ooh. After there all these That's years. That's what they're doing. They're yes. human. They're finally like, fuck this. Cows are evolving. Hey, guys, aren't you tired of these assholes coming in from London and pushing us over? Here's what we do. The cow has a British accent. I say, well, it's in England, right? Yeah. I say we go and start tipping these wankers upside down. Anybody up for this? Now, we can only go 25 miles an hour, so I'm going to need everyone to crank it up. All right? Uh, we've uh, we've purchased a peloton. Everybody, I like everyone to get in a little more shape. Quiet down your are. bells. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, the thinner we get, the less these butcher box people are going to come after us. Are we ready? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting ready to attack the people that are going to slaughter them. Mm-hmm. There's Aaron. 2020 is the weirdest year. <laughs> the I'm cows, saying. the cows turned. The cows were like, nope, no more. Mm-hmm. Another mutilation. guy died of overdosing on black licorice. Another man was killed by a bunch of salmon and some lobsters. Out on land. On land. Enough, yeah. Really in his in his house in his bed. Land. Actually, they got killed him. Lobsters slapped killed to him. death. Just <laughs> 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 hey, what you want? You like this? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you want some butter? No, the choke s- on it. Choke on it. The yeah. salmon was slapping him. I know, but then the lobsters, were, the lobsters were running. They're like, hey, listen. <laughs> they put those rubber bands around them. All of them. Yeah. He's right. Lobsters like. Bing, bing, hey, bing. Like that, that. <laughs> hey, get him. Get him, fish. Do it. <laughs> Here's a, <laughs> have some butter on you. <laughs> We're dumb. I think we can always tell when the end of the podcast comes. No, a guy really died of black licorice overdose. That's a new drug. What? That's what, what? the kids what? are calling it. Yeah. Um, a 54-year-old Massachusetts Is construction there... worker essentially overdosed on black licorice. The candy contains glycerizic, glycerizic acid, which caused the man's potassium levels to plummet. Danger, you know, low potassium can kill you. Abnormal heart rhythm, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure. So let's just point out, as, as our current uh, people, uh, Trump's healthcare people said, uh, COVID doesn't kill anybody. Uh, the morbidities connected to COVID killed, but no one died of COVID. They all died of stuff they already had for years that had never killed them, but they got COVID. And that, um, so this guy did not die. But you don't blame candy. This guy died of whatever used the potato. Yeah, whatever. Black candy at that. Yeah, yeah. See, that's no. what happens. Mm-hmm. Is this Antifa black candy comes into the thing. That's right. BLM is black licorice yeah, murder. Yeah, black licorice murder. Do you <laughs> denounce black licorice? You made me laugh. Sorry. Black licorice murder. BLM. Do you denounce? It's these Antifa. <laughs> it's not an idea. You win today. You he win. always, on puns and stuff, you that's his wheelhouse. <laughs> Every time. I, you can depend on him at one. Don't make me laugh. It hurts so bad. <laughs> well, any news story, he's BLM. going to come up with a pun. The BLM, the black, the black licorice murder. Man was killed. They found him in a wastebasket. He had one of my. He had a ballot. <laughs> had With my the, name on it. Uh-huh. Exactly. He, had a, he had a ballot and some Twizzlers. <laughs> wow, he had Twizzlers. Scranton, <laughs> black Twizzlers. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and by the way, it's not a racial slur. Twi- black Twizzlers, not a racial slur. <laughs> Ow! God dang it! Stop laughing! Stop! Stop! He started with black licorice murders. Margaret Thatcher on a cold day. Stop it! No. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm not laughing anymore. It's your time to close this out. Bring it home, guys. Thank you for tuning in on this very broken of days for me. Uh, from my ribs, uh, I want to say screw both of you. Thank you. That, that really hurts now. I hope my cartilage is getting stronger. Guys, do me a favor. Please go to uh, Christopher Titus TV and subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of stuff. We got some more stuff coming up. Also, go to Combustion Live. Uh, dot com for shows we're doing. We just did Fortune Feimster show this last Saturday. Chris Franjola. And Chris Fortune. Franjola. It was so fun. Fortune uh, this a, time brought Deb, her Deb's spin instructor. Ride that bike. Deb. <laughs> Ride that bike. It was so awesome. inspirational. She was great. Oh, Deb was awesome. I, I missed uh, Brenda, but Deb, I think, is my favorite now. Yeah. De- yeah. Um, so, guys, we're doing shows for, during COVID. We don't want you to have some lifetime malady. So go to CombustionLive.com. There's shows coming up. I'm doing another show on November 14th. Uh, Bombshell and I are doing our dual show on uh, Christmas to uh, the 12th of December. Sure. I think it's 12th of December. Uh, we've got other shows coming up. Go check it out. And if there's anybody you want to see, we'll try to get them. Uh, we've got the setup 12th. now. It is Saturday the 12th. Of so December. we've got a whole setup now to do shows. Uh, so sign up. They're 10 bucks, and you get to stay home and drink 
and uh, then fall asleep uh, in front of the TV or pass out. What do you want? It depends. Um, also, want to point something out. Uh, we started uh, 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 Combustion has started uh, representing an artist. Their first single drops on uh, the eighth, eighth or ninth, eighth. And uh, we did a video. We shot a video here. It was really mm-hmm. good. This dude did an awesome job on the video. Oh, it's so you, good. You saw it, right? Did you like it? Mm-hmm. It was yeah, awesome. It was. Um, but Kenny, look for Kenny. It's coming out. Uh, the single will drop on the 8th. We'll keep informed of that. Again, go to ChristopherTitus.com if you need anything. And uh, thanks for listening, guys, to the podcast. That, we, that you listen to us do this every week. A, we get to get rid of some of our PTSD. And we hope we get rid of some of yours. Thank you for myself, Bombshell Ray, and the Highlander. Later. Peace out. There could be only one. Make Ow. sure you remember today is his birthday. Oh, uh, yeah. Birthday Mine is tomorrow. on Saturday. I waited for a Saturday birthday for seven years. This I Saturday? Waited. Yeah, yes. Hers, really? Yes. I have Wait, waited so and waited no. and waited because every year Sucks. we have to celebrate it a week before or a week after. And I was like, all oh, these poor suckers back in April with their birthdays, like Mahogany's birthday during COVID. Thank God mine's in October when this will be a long time. <laughs> Right. When this will be over, we'll be good. Instead, you're at the peak. Right. About to hit broken. the flu. It's going to be the best birthday ever. <laughs>